Come on. Straight out. Yeah. Oh yeah, me too. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to say good morning? Good morning. Good morning. Well, actually, it's afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. afternoon, friends. You are joining us in the thick of our adventure today. Hey, Monkey Moo. Yep. Yep. We. Say that again. Sure are. We are in the middle of a river. Hold on. I have to <laughs> not run into uh, the the edge. <laughs> We're in the middle of a river. We're hiking to a little beach area that apparently has a tree swing and... You are right? This one oh. is digging. Yeah, what does it have? A tree know. swing yeah, and... A bit of a beach area. Bit of a beach area. Yeah, this is a river. I don't know what the river is called. Um, oh, it's cold. This is a river on the hip camp that we're staying at. Well, it's like on our doorstep. It's so beautiful. The water is crystal clear. Ah, they have these kayaks that are free to use. So uh, we're just gonna kayak up to this beach. Hi. <laughs> and she's hitching a ride. Hey. Yep. Look what I found. Well, he's not yeah. Isla in her back. She's got phones, she's got water, she's got a towel and coffee. And her job is to not spill the coffee. <laughs> to the beach. Oh. Can you pull me up? Hey, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Is that good? Yep, perfect. Thank you. I'll pull you Excuse up. Excuse me, little lady. Huh? Yep. Nice. <laughs> I did. I can still do it. Can walk to the swing. It is cold. I'm on my tippy toes. Look where it's at if I'm not on my tippy toes. And it's getting deeper. So we are in North Queensland. No, sorry, we're in Queensland. And Queensland has crocodiles. So I. We're too far south for the crocodiles, however, I'm still a little anxious because it is Queensland and I grew up in North Queensland. Crocodile safety. Um, this water is as cold as that, almost as cold as that rock pool we into. But the water is super cold, so I don't know if we'll uh, jump in. Mm -mm. This is almost as cold as Rocky Hole. This is very cold water. Yeah, but you jumped in at Rocky Hole. He yeah. did. Yeah, and how long did it take me to jump in the Rocky Hole? I will admit though, you know, the crook thing and the abandoned kayak. <laughs> and the child, this one, who said, I bet you they got eaten. <laughs> uh, to keep these vlog video journals interesting, we thought we'd add in five reasons why we love van life and five reasons why we hate van life or a caravan life if you're pedantic since we live in a caravan not a van so number one on 
our list of our top five is waking up in incredible places. Like this one? Yes. We woke up this morning a few meters from a beautiful creek slash it's a river river but, but it's like a stream at the moment and it's got rapids that the kids can float down it has very cool but refreshing water like we've all been in it we went to sleep last night to the sound of the running water, water. Yeah. flowing and then we woke up this morning and it was what about six degrees and you could see all the steam yeah. from the sun and the water just sort of sitting off it. It was incredible. It was so beautiful. And this is probably, this isn't even the most spectacular spot no. that we've woken up. Like this it's is, not. this is just a pretty average yeah. campsite. Beautiful. And I'm so, I would come again, but there's nothing like spectacular about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, there isn't. It's just like there's nothing. Uh, a little spot and a stream yeah. and a fire pit. That's all you need but it's so incredible. Uh, number two. Number two is spending every day together as a family. I cannot tell you how blessed by Mother Earth we feel to spend every day together as a family. Cameron was a pretty typical worker, you know, Monday to Friday, nine to five, but on top of that, he was in the army. So he was gone <clears throat> for months, just gone for months. And the only sort of relationship that we had with him was on the phone. Or in between courses and yeah. field exercises and everything. So it, and became, it was difficult. So difficult. And this, although it took a while to, to change that up and, and always being adjust to being yeah, together. Yeah, adjust to being together again um, all the time. I wouldn't want it any other way. This is just incredible. Being able to spend every day with with you and with our kids is just the best. So cute. It Shut is. Shut up. <laughs> I was always um, a stay-at-home mum, but then the kids went to school and you know, I wouldn't see them for most of the day, Monday to Friday. And I really struggled with that as well. So being, oh, it's just an incredible, incredible blessing that we get to see our children as children all the time. Like, and, and making our, our schedule up as we go, there's no set plan on how this all runs. It's just off the fly. Number three, leading into what he just said, the freedom to go anywhere. Yep. Like, we have the freedom to go wherever we want. In fact, prime example, at the last video that you guys would have seen, or maybe the one before that? Yeah. One of the last the videos. One before. Yeah. We sat down and our, we said. Our travel plans for 2023. We were going east after we've um, yeah, stopped going, over in Townsville. Yeah. We're going south again. We weren't. Yep, south, sorry, not yeah. east, south. Yeah. Well, that changed. That changed, yeah. and now we are going straight up the guts of yep. Australia and going west, all the way west. Yep. Like, all the way west, as west as we could go, we're going west. So, we have the freedom to do whatever we want, whenever we want. Can I do my Mm-hmm. Whoa. <laughs> I say something. Hey, we got there. Good job. Tying back to um, Cameron's job, we had zero freedom to go where we wanted. You know, we were told where we would go and we listened, which <laughs> ended up being going nowhere. Yeah. Um, literally staying in the Being same spot stuck in the mud. for years and yeah. years and years, which was horrendous. So now that we have the freedom to go wherever we want, God, it feels good. It is the best feeling. Yeah. Not being tied to one place. Yeah. Choosing, choosing where you want to be, when you want to be there. It's pretty exactly. good. And number four. So number four, 
Yep. Is giving our kids a life full of nature. Exhibit A. We'll, we'll cut to them, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I truly, truly believe that the earth is such a healing and wondrous place. And we as a society has pulled ourselves so strayed so far away from our natural path as human beings. We live in these tiny brick houses and we drive these tiny metal cars on wheels and you know, the only nature that we have is our backyard. Your backyard, or, which or is the park down the road. Useless grass that does not benefit the environment at all. And yeah, but this this you know, growing up connected with the earth and connected with nature and just being so free in Absolutely. in this beautiful planet that we live in, planet that we live on. Being able to give the kids that mm. is, is amazing because, I mean, I, I grew up and it was a very structured household. You know, you'd go to school Monday to Friday in the afternoons, you would have your homework and your sport practice. And then on the weekend, you'd go and play that sport. And then Sunday was realistically the only time you had as downtime if you didn't have sport on that day too. So this where, I mean, they don't play, they're not in sport. They're quite sporty kids. And we did take them away from certain sports, but. Which is almost they, the only thing that I am, Unhappy. Like, I wish that I could put Ashton into football and Isla into gymnastics yeah. and Thea into some sort of creative art class, but... I think they're, they're getting more out of yeah. being but able I, to just find something in I mean, we're to in a creek. We're, yeah. in a, we're in a river and they're playing and they're picking up rocks and they're running around the water. Did you lose your skip rock? And we're learning to be adventurous by jumping off of tree swings and swimming into cold water and yeah. kayaking down a river that looks very crocky. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't do this in North Queensland. No. Oh God, no. <laughs> no. Nope. Even here, we're concerned. Are and, you? And a little. I yeah. mean, yeah, of course. You, you grow up in a place where you, you just couldn't go down any river and do this especially nowadays even the there was a creek right by our house and there were croc signs yep. on that creek because and a croc spotted over the bridge that we drove over every mm -hmm. day like that was that's the extent anyway that's beside the point um giving the kids a life in nature they have experienced so many seasons since we've been on the road we have ventured into um national parks where they have swum in ice cold but like pure water pure yeah. fresh water we have gone snorkeling with moldy fish and manta rays yeah and we have um what else have we done oh, we hiked hiked, hiked. Um, cradle mountain yeah what and else? it doesn't have to be big things like it doesn't have to be snorkeling in the wet sundays no. or um, hiking in Tasmania, it can literally be this. I don't know the name of the place that we're going to, that we're on right now. Nobody has access to this except for the farms that are around here and the hip campers. Um, this is private and not a tourist attraction, but like they're just creating so many, mem we're, we're creating so many core cool memories in mother nature and healing and i mean next we're going to i'm rambling now but next we're going to noosa and we're going to be swimming on noosa's main beach and mm, i'm so excited for some ocean bathing so number five moving on before i keep keep, keep rambling your year off oh easy easy one this is the biggest one this is exactly why we sort of left in the first place slowly Yep. I don't know why I whispered that. <laughs> Slow living. Slow living. We're doing it on our time when we want. There is no more like rush. 
don't get me wrong, the year feels like it's flying by, but there's oh, no more rush yeah. to, you know, get school done with or um, waiting until the whatever holidays yeah. to live. There's no, there's no need to go on a holiday that only lasts four days and you have to see everything within those four days. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, if we love a place, like we loved Tasmania, and although we had to leave super, way too prematurely. Yeah. Yeah. Pippies. We absolutely loved Tasmania, and although we had to leave prematurely, we already know that we're going back. Yeah, 100%. We're going back, and we're going back on a one-way ticket. Yeah. Because I don't want to have to have an end date. I want to choose when I want to leave. When we're I, ready. Yeah. yeah, when we're ready. Exactly. Yeah. Even New Zealand, like we went to New Zealand earlier in the year and that all ended so prematurely as well. I know that that's going to happen again. New Zealand will happen again. And our we had, what, 25 days planned. We only lasted 10 over there. Um, no fault of our own. Yeah. But I know that when we go over there, it's going to be a few months, like next time. Oh yeah, if if she has it her way, we're taking our car and um, caravan over yeah. by boat. Yeah. So I'm not going by boat. <laughs> I'm gonna fly. Yeah. But our car and caravan are gonna <laughs> go by boat, and I'm gonna spend like six months, I reckon, six months in New oh, Zealand yeah, for sure, and then come back to Australia and keep going. Um, that's mm, that's the dream. That's the dream. That's the dream. But we'll see. Anyway, slow living. That's the whole point. We have nowhere to be at no given time, we can just you wake up, be together, decide what we're gonna do that day, not have a schedule, not have a plan. Although I am a stickler for a plan. Like I do love you a love good a plan. plan. Yeah, you love a plan. I do love a good plan. But if, my plans- If I had it my way, there would be not many, not many plans being made. No, I love a good plan, but our plans are so relaxed. Oh yeah, they're not hard <laughs> plans. <laughs> By any stretch of the plans. imagination. So yeah, that's the five reasons, the top five reasons, I would say, that we love this lifestyle. Absolutely. It's so freeing. If I had to sum it up in one word, it would be freedom. Yeah. I feel free. I feel so free. And it's such a beautiful feeling. It really is. One that I have well and truly learnt to grow into. Mm. Again, it doesn't take, it's not everyone's cup of tea. No, it's not. And it takes some people longer than others to really sort of mold into that, this lifestyle. Yeah. Um, we struggled, like both of oh, us. 100% we struggled. Struggled a lot at the beginning, but we've really found our stride and God, life is beautiful. I wouldn't change it for anything. Yeah, a little one. Care for the board. from our adventure. The fire is going. The big one. It's a good one. Absolutely. And well. we are going to go through the um, 
the top five reasons why we do not like van life. There's flaws to everything, right? There's pros and cons to everything. So these are our top five reasons why we do not like van life. Number one. Weather. Bad weather. Good weather's fine, but bad weather can really break your whole, um, everything. Your mental state, it can screw with your adventure plans. Like it, it screws with everything. We spent a good, what, three months, four months? Yeah, easily. Um, the first four months of our trip running from floods and rain and everything like that. So it was really, really hard for the first four months, but yeah, bad weather. Number two, this one might be controversial. Yeah, but I still... I stand by it. Yeah, 100% stand by it. Caravan parks. Mm. We loathe caravan parks. They are an ugly necessity to this lifestyle. Um, for instance, washing, charging everything, um, long, very long hot showers. They're a necessity, and then obviously like big cities, you have to stay in caravan parks because there's just no campsites, but we hate caravan parks and we avoid them at all costs. That's why we got this van. So because we could go... we were at too many caravan parks. Way too many caravan parks. Yeah. Uh, number three, and this one is an easy, easy one. Yeah. Tiny toilet cassette. <laughs> Not tiny, we have the whatever the biggest size is, I don't even know, but for five people? Four girls. Five people, four girls, we don't have a ways of not using a toilet. Um, it fills up very quickly. We need to invest in another one. We will be getting a second one. Yeah. Yeah, that is on the to-do like, list. Like, three days, it's been as much as one day. We've, <laughs> our children have somehow Build it to the brim. Don't know how they do it, but they do. As much as having a toilet on board is a blessing, cleaning that toilet cassette <laughs> is not so fun. Number four, and this one we have been lucky not to have to deal with for a little while, although coming into going west, we're gonna have to definitely be dealing it with it a lot more, but long travel days. Yeah, they used to kill me. Long travel days used to kill everyone. It just... It's so exhausting. It just, yeah, it just mentally drains you. Just constantly being on the road for an entire day. I have thoroughly enjoyed like the two... Two hours. Maybe three hours yeah. in a car. Three that, hours has been it. our max, hey? Yeah, I think, uh, I think our maximum, and that was with a lunch break, was four hours. Yeah. Like we stopped, I think, Like an hour times. lunch break, yeah. <laughs> stopped like three times in that one four-hour trip. So yeah. it was realistically, it was like two and a half hours of actual driving. So it's good to be able to break up your day and know that you're not in a rush to get somewhere anymore. Yeah, yeah those long travel days are the worst. And lucky last number five. Ooh, <laughs> this I one might not be. <laughs> this one might not be on everybody's list. It's infuriating. Oh, maps. Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze. I don't care what you're traveling with. Maps on an app, like app maps, suck. app maps, they suck. <laughs> They're Absolutely. the worst. Uh, we, I mean, I'm pretty sure I vlogged it. I vlogged it once too. We were trying to go to Bunnings and it <laughs> sent us around to this huge loop, even yeah, though it was on the street that we were driving on. Yeah. Like it took us off that street. Maps are an absolute nightmare. I hate maps. We always get turned around. We always get lost. And then I'm sitting there going, take this right. It's telling you to take this right. And he's going, but that's the wrong way. <laughs> like, well, I'm telling you what it's telling me to do. Yeah, well. It causes a lot of grief. It, it took us down this very interesting road up a mountain. Yeah, the last hip camp that we were at. Barely, barely fit two cars Honestly, alone, a it caravan. Honestly, did say long, heavy, like four, no, heavy vehicles, mm. not suitable for heavy vehicles, which I would class us. I know that we're not, we're not classed as that, but I would probably 
classes is not recommended as well. I, I believe that that sign that said not recommended or not suitable applied to us as well. It was narrow, it was windy, it was uphill, we were full of water. Yeah. And, and turns out one street over was the main street. <laughs> we could have just taken the main street. But no. It would have taken like Maps two more decided, minutes. Let's two make more it, minutes. Decided let's make it interesting. Yeah. Push your skill level. Oh yeah, it was good fun. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I wasn't raging <laughs> in the driver's seat at all. But yeah, no. That, we don't like maps. That definitely rounds out the top five. Yeah. Maps apps. Yeah. Yeah. We will be investing in a Hemmer. H Honestly, HX2. I, I still think that'll be. We'll be getting stupid that. too. Nah, well, nah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll try. See. It. We'll see. We need it anyway for the off-road sort of trails. So we'll see. Yes, and I think that's where we'll end it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool.